me and Dodie. We just finished the um, show at Paul's and Lacey, didn't we? We did indeed. So what we thought we'd do, as we're at the Stepping Stones pub, which is just here. At the lovely West Humbley place. We thought we'd just have a little trip up to West Humble Chapel, which I was at very recently with Richard Bowe, the Paul Explorer. Hello, we've had a good but damp day, haven't we? We have had a, a well, we've had a magnificent day. It's not really been marred by the rain, but no. the rain has sort of poured down on our heads. Some of us have got wetter hair than others, uh, fortunately. <laughs> but no, I've been thoroughly enjoying being taken around and shown some of Surrey's marvellous heritage sites, which has been fantastic. But it's a lovely sunny day, so I thought it'd be nice day to walk off our, our dinner. Indeed. Our, and uh, we'll quickly show it to you and put it on the channel. So here we go. As we walk here, this house here, so James Hopwood Jeans lived here from 1877 to 1946. Physicist, astronomer and popularizer of science. Lived here, so, yeah, lived here from 1918 to 1946, quite a long time. And Lady Susie Jeans, 1911 to 1993, organist and scholar lived here from 1935 to 1993. Oh. Little heritage plaques, which you sort of might miss, actually, if you walk along. But it's hey. It's interesting to see, um, if you look at the, the sort of shape of it, whether, how, how um, original this is, because... It looks 1930s, in yeah. my opinion. This is quite nice, this old chapel along Crabtree Lane. That lovely ornate door. I don't think it's that old actually, it's hard to say. It's a lovely, and here, heritage plaque, which is in this village, Fanny Burney, novelist and diarist, and her husband, General de Valbley, built their cottage and lived here. I don't really know who she is as a novelist, but I've never heard of her. But we're going to go to West Humble Chapel. Okay, sorry, the sun's in our eyes, we're probably squinting a little bit here. But it's just over there. We're just going up this, because the road has no path, we have to walk along this way. But it's absolutely glorious on this lovely, lovely Saturday evening. The rams, yeah? Yeah. Hello. How are you? Oh yeah, of course they've got horns on there, yeah. Hello. Aren't they lovely? Yeah, there's a lot of flint, yeah. From what we know that the, uh, there's a church at Mickleham, just down the road. Yeah. But this parish wanted their own church, because it's a bit of a way to go, it's not really that far, lazy. Um, but yeah, it's only in use for about 300 years until the dissolution. Oh, there, where the window would have been. And to mm -hmm. see the width, that is amazing. Yeah. It's National Trust property, you've got the end of the wall. See, it wasn't very big, if you look over yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, look at that lovely wall. These are the walls, yeah. yeah. Here so it wasn't that, so it wasn't that big a chapel. It wasn't that big a chapel. It's something elegant about ruins, though. Mm. Really mm. elegant. Definitely. The the actual perimeter walls and also the house walls. It's amazing that more of this hasn't been taken to repair or replace. Well, it could have been. Claim, you know, it's amazing that this much is left. We've got a lovely shot of the Surrey Hills up there. All those up above? Yeah, I just want to bring you down here, have a quick look. Not very long video. So it's a golden evening. And uh, we'll walk to walk off our dinner. Mm -hmm. really Indeed. Nice. And we'll see you next time. Be seeing you.